As a DUI defense attorney, one question I get all the time is, are DUI checkpoints legal? And the basic answer is yes. Normally, the police need probable cause to stop and detain a motorist. That means either they witness a traffic violation or they have reason to believe that the person is under the influence of committing a crime. But courts have ruled that DUI checkpoints are an exception to this principle. However, the courts have also said that there are eight key requirements that the police must follow in order for the checkpoint to be legal and constitutional. The first is that supervising officers, as opposed to field officers, must make all of the operational decisions. Two, the criteria for stopping motorists must be neutral. So, for example, stopping every third car or stopping every fifth car, as opposed to selection of who to stop based on the arbitrary discretion of the police officers. Third, the checkpoint must be reasonably located in a place where there's high incidence of DUI-related accidents or arrests. Fourth, adequate safety precautions must be taken. Fifth, the checkpoint's time and duration should reflect good judgment and its effectiveness should be weighed against the intrusiveness to the drivers. Six, the checkpoint must exhibit sufficient indicia of its official nature. That means there must be warning signs, flashing lights, marked police cars, and uniformed officers. Seven, drivers should be detained a minimal amount of time in order to determine whether there's signs of intoxication. And eight, perhaps most importantly, Roadblocks should be publicly advertised in advance. Usually this means at least a week in advance on websites and local newspapers. The upshot is this. Whenever you give police a checklist of requirements to follow, they almost inevitably get it wrong. In a DUI case arising out of a checkpoint, we can put the checkpoint itself under a microscope. If we find that the police made mistakes and that they set up the checkpoint incorrectly, then we can make a motion in court to invalidate the checkpoint itself. In California, we call this an Ingersoll motion. And in fact, there's been many times over the years when we've been able to successfully challenge checkpoints in court and ultimately get our clients' DUI charges dismissed.